The following tutorial shows the advanced menu. While features within it are useful, they're not supported and are subject to change. Please use at your own risk and have an awesome second life. In the advanced menu, there are a whole series of types of rendering which you can turn off and on at will. Let's click this double parallel lines to loosen it so it's torn off, that's the term. You tear off a menu like that and we'll zoom out. One of the most useful here is surface patch and you might be going, Torley, why is that so useful? <laughs> well, let me tell you why. Sometimes if you lose things underground, like I've done in another video tutorial, surface patch will hide the terrain. So with the camera, like for example, I'm holding down alt key and clicking and just dragging and zooming in, I can hold alt and control. So the cursor changes and I can look beneath the ground. You can also selectively eliminate other types of rendering, which is good for some artistic photography, like all the water's looks gone. It's not really gone. Clearly, there's boats still going in the air. Never mind that. <laughs> oh, that's magic for second life for you. You can also take away tree. This applies just to linden trees, by the way. So you're not really going to see too much moved out of the way here or disappearing because these are resident made objects which would be covered under a volume. This takes away all these prims. And if you just want the simple prims, that will be simple, of course. And alpha are alpha or transparent textures and objects like that. If you're ever concerned, oh my gosh, where did it go? You just turn it back on here or a relog will reset everything back on as it's meant to be. 